So just so people can wrap their head around, you know, what ZK VMs are and how Risk Zero works, there are kind of two main approaches to writing programs in ZK. You can take the sort of direct path where you have some kind of language like CIRCOM or any of these other ones um, that feed into a compiler, which then produces the sort of arithmetic circuit that, you know, then shove inputs into and a proof comes out. So this is, you know, a very useful way to construct ZK circuits. Um, but depending on what you're trying to accomplish, it can be uh, sometimes better to, to make the circuit that you construct an actual VM. So things that implement this kind of uh, approach are things like Maiden, um, Ola VM, um, Cairo, obviously, and, and of course us. So in this world, uh, you take your sort of language um, written, you know, in whatever your VM can understand. Uh, that program that you write goes into a compiler, which produces some kind of IR or ISA. And that itself, the program, is an input into um, the sort of VM circuit that you have, just like another input. So the circuit doesn't really change from program to program. Rather, you have a program that's an input as well as sort of the actual data inputs, and those produce proofs. Yeah, next slide. So the RISC-0 uh, ZKVM implements RISC-5. So RISC-5 is a microarchitecture. It's an open source and standard microarchitecture, as opposed to, say, ARM or x86, which are proprietary microarchitectures. There are other examples of open microarchitectures, like MIPS or semi-open. Um, and then also, you know, there are sort of quasi microarchitectures like Wasm. Uh, so we here at Risk Zero implemented uh, a circuit that represents a Risk Five microprocessor. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can use instead of making your own language and making up a, your own ISA and writing your own compiler, you can use LVM and or GCC and, in theory, any language you want. We've initially focused on Rust support and we're trying to build up, you know, a really a uh, usable and sort of idiomatic way to, to build ZK programs in Rust. And that's the focus of this workshop that Tim and Jeremy are going to be uh, walking you through. And there's a bunch of other stuff we'll be covering uh, about RISC-V uh, in, in other workshops.